Hello everybody, uh, my name is Melvin from Shimano Singapore. So today uh, I'll be starting a series of uh, teaching lessons of how to understand the different technology that Shimano puts behind our fishing products. So for today's session I'll be covering about our big cast technology, specifically our SVS Infinity braking system. So now I have in my hand is the Metanium. This Metanium uses the SVS Infinity braking system. So let's take a look at what's inside the braking system. So let me show you how to open up the brake set and what kind of setting that you can have in your uh, big caster. So to open up, there's this open valve. Just push it to the open section and just flick the case open. So once the case is open, you'll see the first set of braking, all the brake pads, the red color, plastic sets are all the brake pads so the red things are all the brake pads and the gold color thing here is the brake collar so the brake pad will get in contact with the brake collar to apply braking to the spool when you cast so the infinity braking system is given this name because it allows for many types of uh, braking control the first type will be the turning on and off of the brake pads this is the first generation SVS. Now there's two generations. For the first generation, you just turn on by locking the brake pads in position. So you just feel on and off, you just lock it into position. That's the first control that you can have. The second control is the control of the brake collar through the dials located on the outside body. So this dial gives you minute control meaning you can control to the even 0.1 setting of the brake collar. So that's how we came about with the name SVS Infinity Braking System. So to turn on, this is the first generation SVS. To turn on and off, the brake pads is very easy. Right now, if you flick it and it doesn't come out, this is off setting. To turn it on, just give it a light push. So now this is on setting, okay? So I'll turn on all the brake pads. Okay, so now all the brake pads are on. So the next set of things which you can control would be the brake collar. So controlling the brake collar is very straightforward. It can be controlled without opening the reel. Okay, let me just show you what happens when you turn the dial. So from the outside, you can see the dial. The higher the number, the more braking. So as I turn the dial, look at my brake collar. Goes in and come out. As it comes out more, that means more brake is applied onto the brake pads. Okay, so just let me put the cover back on. Just remember to always have this click sound. So this is where you can adjust. This is very clearly marked. More is this direction. So the six is the highest. Okay, so we just, okay. We can stop at any point. There are individual marking. So for those who want very precise control, just stop at the point. Maybe now this is three half. So let's see how we can cast over here. So right now I will do a series of casts. For this cast, I have set uh, maximum braking inside and uh, maximum braking out here. So level six here and level six inside also. Uh, casting distance is uh, affected because I put on too much brake. So now I will try a uh, different setting by lowering the brake set. So if you see a situation like this, so it's time to, for you to close a few of the brake pads from inside. So just, I'm going to close off two first. And let's try. So big cast gives you the advantage of having your thumb on the line and on the spool so it gives you a more direct control so you know what your reel and how your lure is behaving all the time. So 
So that's one thing I really like about big caster. So still a little bit too much brakes. I'm gonna drop one more brake. So I'm just gonna close two more. So now I'm only left with two brake settings. So let's see. Okay. Distance I want and very easy to control the spool speed. I think that is my optimal braking session. So the best brake setting for me today has been two outside and one inside braking. At this setting, it gives me the best control and best customability in terms of distance. So my advice to anglers out there is to adjust your bait cast reel to suit your fishing environment as well as your fishing situation. So that's what I have today. Enjoy your fishing. Pipelines.